Yo, beast mode, I go beast mode Left, right, hook, then I reload Speed until the E breathe slow Connect every uppercut, clean blow Chris Wan was here, South by Jab, and Isaac Chamberlain. Yes. How's it going? Good man, just here, you know, just to support uh, Chris, Conway, Denzel, Bentley, you know, uh, two of my friends on the show. And uh, just here, man, just pass the time, talking to fans, you know. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you got you finally got a fight date coming up on the 27th of October. Yeah, right, right, you know, 27th. Yeah, yeah. 27th. Uh, at the, uh, the cover box again, Luke Watkins. Uh, it's a big fight to come back into. How, how, how are you feeling against that? Yeah, I feel um, confident, you know, because because of, of the training that I've been doing. I've been working ex extremely hard in the gym with Jorge Rubio and Angel Fernandez. Uh, just just really working on a whole lot of different things, you know. Everything is more structured now. Do you know what I mean? And uh, I'm learning every every day. Uh, just can't wait to show all of these things that I've been learning in uh, in the ring on, on October. So it's it's a new new camp, new surroundings. Um, how different is it to what you've been used to, like in in, in your career before? Like, because Angel, I've, I've seen some of the videos. He he has very unique styles in his training. Like, is, is has that been bringing out the best in you? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, um, it really works towards my style. You know what I mean? So uh, I've been working on a, a whole lot of different angles and different you know Cuban techniques. You know that he's been working on, and. Uh, I'm starting to put it a lot into my sparring, so I just can't wait to pull it into my fight. You know, so you know, I'm just waiting on that, and uh, you know, it's exciting. You know, I'm just really excited to show all the skills you know, that I've been learning in camp, and uh, it's it's just a lot more structured. You know, before it wasn't really structured, but now it's uh, it's a lot more structured, and uh, it's a lot more um, like what can I say like for example, I have like a heart rate monitor. Uh, you know, if it adapts the training, like if my heart rate is a bit high in the morning, we adjust the training to where it is. Little, little things like that, do you know what I mean? And I peak at the right time and there's no overtraining and little stuff like that. Okay, so um, that fight, it's it's a big fight on a big card. Do you, do you see that propelling you back towards where you want to be with a British title and stuff like that? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, I think that definitely puts me right back up in the mix. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, a great opponent to come back to as well. You know I mean, I think my man and his fights, um, styles will gel perfectly. I think with a fight, and uh, just uh, it's just a, it's going to be exciting, man. I just can't wait. I'm itching. Yeah, I bet you are. It's been a bit of a while. I think it's the longest you've been out of the ring, isn't it? Am I right with that? I think so. Yeah. So yeah, it must be a must be a. Uh, Frustrating time in that sense, but um, no, but I, ju I just use everything as motivation. You know, I use everything pos as positivity and motivation. Just knowing that the longer I'm out, the more I've ch uh, the more chance I have to work on little things in the gym and you know, just be a real student of the game. So uh, it's just I'm just that's what, basically what I'm doing. You know, I'm just becoming a student of the game and completely focusing myself so that you know um, the next fight is a big difference. Okay, um, going forward after this fight with a win. Um, are you eyeing a rematch for Lawrence, or is, is that just something if it happens you'll take it? Um, a bit of both really, because obviously he's had two bad performances, one against me before and one against uh, uh, Matt Yaskin. But obviously he, he has gotten away with the win, you know what I mean, so he can't complain. But, um, you know, I would love to have that fight in the future, definitely. What about the winner of Wadi Camacho and Arthur Nickbell, the Commonwealth? Yeah, I would get that too. You know, I would love to have that fight as well. You know, he was chasing the Wadi Camacho fight, but um, for some reason I don't know, it fell through or something. And, uh, so, right now, my main focus right now is uh, Luke Watkins, and then we can talk about everybody else. Okay, that's fair enough. Just, you, you just mentioned there though, was, was the Wadi fight for the title on the table at some point? Yeah, I think it was, but obviously, I think Steve Goodwin had other plans and Wadi had other plans. So. Okay, fair enough. Um, talking of that, who do you think will win? Do you think it'll repeat? Or I think it'll be it? another repeat. Or, do you know what I mean? I think when he's reached the stage where that's, you know how he's going to fight, he's going to come out the same way. I don't know if he can adapt. You know, I don't know if he can adapt, but I think you know, it depends on what shape Arthur comes in, in it as well. You know, I hope he doesn't think that you know because he beat him before. I don't really need to train for this. He's obviously boxing, and if he can have it. So, uh, 
I just think, you know, I you know the best to go for them. I hope they will both, you know, entertain the fans and it's an entertaining fight and both of them are healthy after. Okay, that's, that's, that's very, very uh, sporting of you to say that. Um, I just say, you look leaner than I've ever seen you and I saw you the week before the Akoni fight and you already look leaner. Is, it, is that testament to the new training techniques that you've been taking? Um, yeah, and I think it's just a testament to my discipline. You know, I've, I've been a, a lot more disciplined. Most people, when they're not fighting, they uh, blow up in weight and stuff, but I'm still always watching my weight. I've got a nutritionist. Uh, her name is Jasmine. She's an amazing nutritionist. You know, and uh, she's keeping me on, like, on focus, you know, and, and just on it, do you know what I mean? So, I'm just waiting. Man. Yeah, yeah, keep talking all that shit. Uh, <laughs> man, look yeah, this I'm guy. barging into the video. <laughs> yeah, video, you man. Your time, I know, man. I know. Let you me step out. Let me step out. Man, let me say no. Please, knock out. Miss Yes, you joke, man. Oh, bro, man, you gotta get on time, 7.30. <laughs> Alright, well, I won't keep you for much longer. Just quickly before we go, how do people get hold of you for tickets? Um, there's a website called www.thetickettrolley.com. The Ticket Train? Ticket Trolley. Ticket the, Trolley. The Ticket Trolley. So everyone can just get tickets off of there. And uh, I hope you guys watch an amazing fight at some point in Okay, wicked. Well, good luck in October and hope we will talk to you soon. Yo, beast mode, I go beast mode. Left, right, hook, then I reload. Speed until the E breathe slow. Connect every uppercut, clean blow.